Now this Malone roof rack system has some really nice aerodynamic shaped crossbars that's going to help cut down on wind noise and drag, especially if you compare it to a round or square bar roof rack system. We have a nice rubber strip up top so we can utilize T-slot accessories. All we do is kind of push open this cap. You can see we access the T-slot right here. All we have to do is push down on that rubber strip and then slide our accessory to the desired location on our roof rack and then tighten it down. Close the end cap and you're good to go. Now the crossbar length is gonna be 50 inches on both of them, so that should be more than enough space to get your favorite accessories loaded up. Now what, another really cool feature about this roof rack system is that our end caps also double as tools. So our end caps on the legs right here, we can unlock it with the included key. And when we pull it out, the tool is right here to tighten it up. So you don't have to worry about keeping a tool in your glove box or in your center console. It's gonna be stored up and in there. You're gonna get two of these tools and then the other two end caps will just be normal end caps without the tool extended on it. And having the lock included is a nice feature. It's a nice theft deterrent so no one can just come up and remove your roof rack system. Now with our feet right here, you can see we got nice rubber coatings all around it. That's going to help protect our raised side rail from any type of scratches or abrasions while we have it installed. Now I wanna go over a few measurements for you guys. First from the top of our roof to the bottom of our crossbar, it's going to be three inches. Should be more than enough space to get your clamp on accessories underneath the crossbar without risking damaging your rooftop. We do have a 165 pound weight capacity with this roof rack system, but be sure you double check with your cross trucks owner's manual and make sure your roof can handle that weight. And as you can see, there is no interference with our sunroof when we have the roof rack installed. So you're gonna be able to open it up as you please. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you guys how easy this is to get installed. It comes out of the box just like this. There's no assembly required to get it installed. So we just took the end caps off and we'll just raise it over top of our cross trek and set it onto our side rails. Now usually you would want to get a tape measure and measure your crossbar spread to make sure it's even. But what we'll do to make sure that it gets even completely, I'm just gonna push the edge of it all the way up to the edge of this support post right here, just like that. And I'll do the same for the other side as well. And then you also wanna make sure that your crossbar overhang is even. You can either measure it or eyeball it. That'll look good right there. So we'll just grab our tool and then we'll tighten it down. Now once you're finished tightening it up, like I said with that tool, stows into the foot. We'll get our key, we'll lock it into place. Now from here, with both crossbar, crossbars installed, I always like to grab a hold of the roof rack. Give it a good shake, just make sure everything is secure on it. Go back and forth, up and down, side to side. You can see that the entire vehicle is moving, so we're gonna be ready to load up our favorite rooftop accessories and then hit the road. Well, thank you all for watching and I hope this information helped you out, but that's gonna do it for our test fit of the Malone Airflow 2 roof rack system on our 2019 Subaru Crosstrek.